that the first thing is to force, and this is a really a beautiful and powerful word. One of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Qahar, the one who is overpowering and dominating, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he, this is the word that's used here, and yarud al nafsa qahran, that a person dominates and forces the nafs to return back to contemplating and understanding the words that are being recited in the salah. Okay? And to focus and to force it to focus on that over all other things. And what helps a person do that is that they prepare before they enter into the prayer. And that they remind themselves of the hereafter. And that they will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the result of that judgment is, is significant, is so significant and dangerous that they need to think of that in the moment of the salah. Okay? That it is such an intense, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the, the disbelievers on that day, subhanAllah, I just learned the meaning of this ayah recently. That the disbelievers on that day, they, when they see the scales and when they see the judgment, they will be in such terror that they will look up and their eyes will be in such horror that they'll be wide-eyed and they won't even be able to blink. For how many years will they be experiencing that where it will be so intense that they won't even be able to blink? So you remind yourself of that in the salah. What would I be like if I was true, and I am, but if the veil was lifted and I'm standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what kind of adab and presence would I have? So you remind your nafs of that.